as 2022 is around the corner, Imoinu Live wishes you all a very happy and prosperous new year. Hello everyone, this is Anjali Wahingwam and you're watching Imoinu Live Top 20 News of 31st December 2021. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh today laid the foundation stone of Manipur State Hajj House at Usoi Pokpi Lilong under Thobal district. Stolen cattle were seized while being smuggled along with four people who were detained in Lakhipur in Assam's Golpara district today. The Rongbong Terang Integration Award 2022 will be conferred upon Oniti Satra Satradhikar Dr. Pitambar Dev Goswami. This was announced by Chingthur Publication at Dipu Press Club today. Assam Health and Family Welfare Minister Keshav Mahanda today said that the vaccination process in schools and colleges will be completed within one week from January 3 to January 9, 2022. Sikkim Pradesh Congress Committee Chairman Gopal Chetri on Thursday advised Chief Minister P.S. Gole to remain alert from Alliance partner BJP instead of accusing former Chief Minister Pawan Chamling of trying to topple the Sikkim government. With the New Year's Eve yet to pass, the Guwahati police has already collected a fine of about Rs 4 crore from traffic rules violators in December, which is way above the average of Rs 2.5 crore a month. Mizoram Health Minister Dr. R. Lal Thangliana on Thursday inaugurated a makeshift RT-PCR laboratory at an old tourist lodge building in South Mizoram's Lunglai town to cater to the need of four southern districts. An incident of firing was reported from the Dihing Patkai National Park in Assam today. The firing was reportedly between Forest Department officials and a group of illegal timber smugglers. Centre has released an amount of Rs 51.53 crore to Assam that got hit by floods and landslides earlier this year. The amount released to Assam is part of the total amount of Rs 3,063.21 crore, which has been released to six states that got hit by floods and landslides. Assam government has announced that a COVID-19 vaccination drive for students aged between 15 to 18 years will start from January 3, 2022. Vishwanath District Administration of Assam has come up with two helpline numbers to deal with the problem of drink and drive on New Year. The district police said the objective was to prevent accidents caused by drunken boozers. India on Thursday rejected China renaming some places in Arunachal Pradesh and asserted that the state has always been and will always be an integral part of India as assigning invented names does not alter this fact. India reported its second Omicron death from Udaipur in Rajasthan today. The 73-year-old was also suffering from hypertension and diabetes. The man had tested negative for COVID-19 on December 21, but four days later, he contracted a new variant of the virus. COVID vaccination among children in the national capital will roll out at the centres where Covaxin is under supply. The vaccination drive will take place at dedicated COVID vaccination centres where Covaxin is being used for inoculation. Amid demands from a section of industry and several states, the GST Council today decided to defer an increase in GST on textiles from 5% to 12%. The 46th meeting of the Goods and Services Tax Council is being held in the national capital under the chairmanship of Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. The year 2021 saw India taking a lead in providing medical aid to a large part of the COVID-ravaged world event as it continued to explore ways to deal with aggressive big neighbour China and was forced to reshape policy towards Afghanistan following the Taliban takeover. China on Thursday lashed out at Western countries, including the United States, over the diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics to be held in February next year. Manipur men's team won the 13th Seniors National Futsal Championship 2021 at Ahmedabad, Gujarat, held from 28 to 30 December 2021. The final match of the men's tournament was being played between Manipur B versus Meghalaya and won by 7-2. India defeated Sri Lanka by nine wickets in the final and claimed U19 Asia Cup trophy for a record eight time at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium today. That's the end of today's top 20 news. Thank you for watching.